Taurus, Elsie here with a bonus read. How are you, my bull gang? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you, Taurus. We're just going to look at tarot today, uh, find out what is coming up for you. Whenever I do a bonus read, Taurus, you will know if you've been here before. Whenever I do a bonus read, it is always for the current or the future energy. I'm not looking at anything that's in the past. And um, uh, unless it shows up as something I have to address, I'm not really going to address anything that's been going on in the past. Let's find out what is going on for Taurus. Now, these, these readings do not have a date or a time. Could be happening tomorrow, next year, next week, two years from now. Who knows, right? Tell me what's coming up for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's a general reading, so please keep that in mind. It's not meant to resonate with everybody. Tell me about Taurus. All right. There we go. We've got the Ace of Wands to start you off, Taurus. Tell me why this is here got the two of coins. You are making some sort of a decision that's coming up here. There is a decision in the 3D that I feel you're going to make, and it is to go on some sort of a new, exciting new path here. I want to say it's a safe path. We do have a salamander here, and I want to say that the universe is, is sort of pushing you, pushing you forward to something that I feel is going to be spectacular exciting like I'm looking at the volcano in the background it's like nobody expects a volcano to go off right um, it feels like uh, it feels like you've been talking about it or you've been huffing and puffing about it and now it's time for you to make the actual decision to get out on this path here tell me more about Taurus please We've got the uh, three of, uh, sorry, not the three, but the eight of wands. So things are about to move really quickly. Once you make this decision to take this exciting new uh, creative path, whatever this is, it seems pretty exciting. It's brand new. It's a brand new passionate path. When you decide to do that here, I feel like things start to move forward really quickly. Tell me more. All right, dropping cards. else is new right all right tell me what is going on for Taurus I've got the six of swords so this is movement this is the movement that you've been wanting it feels like uh, somebody here who might have been um, maybe stuck a little bit I feel like this is this is movement in, the, in a positive direction here We have the uh, Four of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Wands. I feel when things start to move uh, forward quickly here, Taurus, I feel like you're going to give it a little bit of resistance. I feel like this is the movement that you've been hoping or waiting for, I want to say, with the um, Six of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. It feels like uh, it feels like with this here, the, the uh, Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, that Six Pentacles, right? It does feel like you will be getting or giving some sort of reciprocal energy here. It could be with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Um, but it does feel like when it shows up, when this really does start to move forward here, this path, when it shows up as fiery as it is, it's going to start moving quickly. And I feel like it's going to freak you out just a little bit. We've got the Seven of Wands. And it almost feels like it feels like it shows up really quickly. And you don't like things to move quickly. So I feel like you're almost a little bit defensive or you keep it at arm's length. It could be a Leo or a Sagittarius, possibly a Capricorn, maybe an Aquarius that might be showing up here in Aries. Could be a person, doesn't have to be, of course. This situation is something that I feel that you've been wanting to show up because I feel like you've been wanting this Six of Swords here, this movement. It's like it was... Something that was stuck is about to move because the Four of Pentacles is about being shut off and shut down, right? It's it's miserly. I'm hiding things. Or I, I don't think you're hiding things, Taurus, but I feel like you're like keeping to yourself. Like it feels like there is some sort of a door that's flinging open here. Tell me what else I need to know about Taurus. We have the Queen of Cups. something that you've been waiting for. You've been very patient for something here. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Water and fire is always temperance. I feel like uh, you've been patient and waiting for something, waiting for this movement. Um, we have the King of Pentacles on the Six of Pentacles, which is really neat. Um, so we have the Seventh Pentacle. It is a new path. It might be a new job for some of you. 
it feels like it has something to do with your pentacles. You're making some, it might be a new job that you've always wanted. Maybe you've been waiting to hear for it. I feel like you're going to hear about it. Love is moving forward as well. Emotions, love, um, excitement in love. It's moving. It's finally moving, Taurus. <laughs> I want to say for those of you who are looking at this as a love reading, it feels like it's finally moving. If you've been single for a while, maybe you're not going to be single for much longer. The king of coins can be you, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but it could also be the energy of someone else, feminine or masculine. Take it as it resonates for you. There are seven pentacles here. And so I feel like we're talking about a new path. It's like a, something that you've been nurturing and waiting for, being really patient for, is, is showing up for you here. And for some of you, it is um, in the 3D, it is a job, it feels like. You're getting some sort of reciprocity that's going to put you in this King of Coins energy. It's like something that you threw out at the universe, Taurus, is coming back to you. That's exactly what, what happens with the universe. You throw out anger, pissed off, harsh words, get in the comments, tell me how stupid I am. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're getting back what you put out there. And what you put out there is really good energy. I feel like the King of Pentacles is the one who's got the Midas touch because the universe is always blessing the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles is the overgiver, right? The one who's always giving, very charitable. Uh, we've got the Fool in the reverse. Oh, and the Queen of Wands is a little bit of a catch-22 here, right? And I feel like the reason, yeah, it feels like you're in this, you're in your energy, and then all of a sudden, all of this fire energy shows up, right? We've got um, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo energy, and that's what makes you feel a little bit defensive, because the fool in the reverse tells me that you don't want to look a fool by going on some sort of a new, exciting path. It's like, um, you know, the fool, the fool, it, when they're in the upright, is like an educated leap, but I feel like the fool in the reverse is telling me that somebody wants to tell, wants you to quickly take some sort of a leap with them. And it is somebody that I feel that you're very attracted to. Somebody who is used to taking risks. I don't know that you're used to taking risks, but um, uh, I feel like there's somebody here who's a risk taker. This person is, is somebody feminine or masculine who is an independent person. They are somebody who is uh, very exciting, very silly, a lot of fun. This person really doesn't care what people think about them. This person dresses the way they want to. They probably dress really well and very attractive, I think. But um, it feels like this person wants you to jump in. They want you to just jump in and not check if there's water or rocks or whatever below this, this uh, leap of faith that you're taking. I feel like... Um, I feel like the seven of wands is telling me to tell you to make sure that you keep your boundaries up. The queen of wands, I feel, isn't someone that you really need to worry about in a, in a terrible way. But this person is used to running through life like this, right? They're used to going rogue, right? When you think you're, they're going to go straight, they do their own thing and they go right. So this person is used to taking risks and I don't think that you are. But we are dealing in court cards. So we are dealing in people who are on the same vibrational level, right? King, kings and queens is what we're dealing in here. It feels like this probably is a, a romantic connection, or maybe it's the Queen of Cups. Take it as, it as it resonates, but it does feel like there's finally movement towards some sort of an emotional situation here. So it does feel like it's a... You're looking at it as the King of Pentacles would, though. You're kind of observing it from a distance. We got to go slow. I want to make a... I want to... I, I don't want to... I don't want to look a fool by jumping in too soon and getting into some sort of relationship where I'm going to get my heart broken if this is a relationship reading for you. Um, for some of you, I feel like I feel like if it's a, a work, if it's a work thing here, I feel like somebody sees the value in hiring you um, and they're about to give you reciprocal energy, but they're going to want you to start immediately. They're going to want you to not give um, uh, two weeks notice to the last job. They're going to want you to jump in immediately. And I feel like this person is somebody who's going to try and get you to do that. Whether you want to do it is, or not is up to you. But I feel like this person is someone who who wants it now, right? They don't want to wait. This is somebody who wants who wants you in the organization right now. We've got um, the 
temperance energy. I did mention that, right? I said fire and water is always temperance. Temperance shows up here. And uh, so I feel like this is an offer that you've been waiting for. And now it's the moment of alchemy, Taurus. And it's time for you to make a decision about whether you're going to give this person reciprocity, whether this is a romantic situation or a workplace situation. It's a big opportunity nonetheless, and they're giving it to you because they do see that you are the King of Pentacles. We do have the Seven of Swords. You don't necessarily trust taking a leap of faith. You don't trust that you won't look a fool if you move too quickly, and that's why you're a little bit defensive here. Tell me more. We've got the Page of Wands. This person's not going to let you alone until you say yes. So the Page of Wands is somebody who is young. It's a messenger. I feel like you get a message, a text from somebody. If you're looking at this as a, uh, a romantic reading, it feels like you're about to get some communication from somebody who I feel that you are already feeling very defensive with or that you have boundaries. And so this person is showing up and I feel like this person might be somebody who caused you to have the boundaries. They might be somebody who's younger than you. There might be an age difference here. We do see it. For some of you, it could be a child. It could be a child that's showing up. It feels like you're hesitating with the Seven of Swords here, Taurus. If it is if it is a child that's showing up here, it feels like you're hesitating with the Seven of Swords because this child is just showing up at your door. And this, I feel, I feel like you feel very defensive about that, even if it is, even if it is a child. I think we're talking about a, an adult child or someone who is an adult who is quite, um, <coughs> who is quite. Um, immature, makes quick decisions, makes um, spur of the moment decisions. They take risks that they're not supposed to take and now they want you to take a risk with them as well. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. I feel like you've been waiting for this all along and now you don't trust the situation, whether it's love or work or maybe it's a, a child you haven't seen for a while and this person is showing up at your doorstep. Now, the thing is, is that everybody's always happy to see their children unless there's something else going on. So there might be something else going on with you in your relationship with this child. Or an adult who acts like a child. We do have uh, the Three of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands, yeah. And we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Look, it does. if, if it is a child here, it does feel like them showing up at your door um, is is turning out to be some type of a burden and it puts your household on its head. Like it feels like it it it, it puts it throws a little bit of chaos into your into your week. We have the three of wands. It feels like if this is a child here that you've been waiting to hear from this person, waiting for them to come back, waiting for them to say something. And now all of a sudden they show up and they just want you to drop everything to do whatever it is that they that they want you to do or give them whatever it is they want you to give them. Whether it's time, attention, money, possibly. Take it as it resonates for you. So it feels like with the uh, Seven of Swords here, you don't trust the situation. You've been waiting on this for a while, but you don't trust the situation. And now that it's here, whatever, it, whatever the situation is, it's now feeling kind of heavy. This child could be showing up to drop burdens with you. It's time to talk. It could be that. Um, it does feel like if this is something that is romantic, somebody who I feel is going to message you, which is going to allow you to drop the burdens, but you're like, why now? Why are you communicating with me now? I don't understand. The Three of Wands is here as well, right? And so this is something that you've been very patiently waiting for. You've been waiting for expansion, for movement. And I feel like now that it's here, it's like the Four of Wands in the reverse. It's like, I'm not really sure if this is going to fit into my life right now. It's like it puts your stability on its head. And I feel like the stability of your home is on its head. Just want to clarify the Seven of Swords here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. It feels like, Taurus, you don't trust something here. You don't trust this. Somebody is trying to push you into making a, an on-the-moment decision. And um, whether it is romantically or it is 
for a job or it is a child that is showing up, this infer this energy at the center of the reading here is telling me that you're unsure about what's here, what's what's going on and why it's going on right now. We do have coming up on its side, right? For me, that's a challenge whenever a card shows up on its side here. The challenge is we've got the moon. You had no idea that they were arriving. You had no idea that they're showing up. And they're showing up in a very, I want to say, this energy here of um, somebody who is wanting to create something with you. I feel like they want to get on stable ground with you. But I feel like you, you had no idea. It feels like a surprise. It feels like you had no idea that this person was showing up, whether it is love. You had no idea that you were going to be offered the job. It feels like you were waiting in this energy of the moon energy. It's like things were not as they seemed and you felt something was going to happen, but you weren't sure what. Again, we have on its side, we have the judgment card. And so now you're faced with an immediate decision in the 3D. You have to make a decision in the 3D here because the judgment card is here now. And the decision you make is not just, it's not just the two of pentacles. It's not just I'm making a decision to go to the three. It's like life-changing. It feels like it's a life-changing decision. So whatever whatever you decide is going to put you on some sort of a new path here. We've got the Two of Cups in the reverse. Very interesting energy. We've got the Justice in the reverse. So we've got um, the Two of Cups is in the reverse, and it does feel like this is an unhealthy relationship. And I feel like the last time that this person was around, that they came around, it was all-consuming for you. It consumed you. Consumed you with fire, possibly, with passion. Consumed you with love, water, and fire, temperance. You've been waiting. You've been waiting, and it feels like you knew that this was showing up, but you did, just didn't know when. So I feel like the two, of pen, the two of Cups in the reverse is telling me that we need a new course of action. That there is some sort of a fallout or a breakup here. This person has a hard time opening up about their feelings and it, they're going to want you to jump in, take a, a, a quick jump here with them. And uh, we do have the two the two of cups in the reverse and the, um, the judgment card here. And it does feel like the decision that you make is going to change everything. What's it going to change? Oops, sorry. What's it going to change? How are things going to change? Look, that's, that's Eclipse energy if I ever felt it. What's it going to change? For Taurus, please. It's going to change your victory. It's going to change your path. Somebody is coming back home. So whether that's a relationship or a child, somebody's coming back home here. Um, for those of you who are looking at this as a business reading, it does feel like you're going to be asked to make some sort of a decision here. Um, if it is a business decision, it's something that you're already thinking about. Um, but I feel like it is going to change everything. Um, when the judgment card shows up, it is going to change everything. I feel like this, yeah, it feels like if this is a business reading, it feels like the Two of Cups in the reverse to me is somebody wants you to just abandon whatever you're doing and come work for them. Um, tell me about the Six of Wands. got the Magician in the reverse. We've got the uh, King of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So the Magician in the reverse is the reason that you don't want to take a leap of faith is because you're not sure. Are they manipulating me? Whether it is the lover situation, whether it is the work situation, whether it is the child situation. Are they here to manipulate me? Because the King of Swords in the reverse is not good energy. This is somebody who may not be a narcissist, but somebody who, who suffers from, like, understand that that's a medical diagnosis and many people throw that word around it's a medical diagnosis and there is a criteria for it but somebody is acting out that way i'm not saying that they are a narcissist because i can't diagnose anybody i'm not a doctor but it feels like somebody here is acting aloof they're detached um it feels like they they're like well i'm back so what are you going to do now it's like the seven of cups is in the reverse and there's no more there's no more indication of illusion or um i i can't make a decision somebody has now chosen you and has shown up here um but i don't know that you trust them because the king of swords is in the reverse it feels like a little bit of manipulation somebody wants you to do what they want you to do yeah 
put the three of pentacles in the page of coins. It could be the start of a new friendship. So for those of you who, who are looking at this as a relationship reading, you might decide, look, I don't want to jump in. I'm, I'm not going to jump in with the fool in the reverse and the eight of wands here. I'm not going to jump in like that. But why don't we start in friendship? Why don't we start it slow, talking to each other, getting on each other's team? Let's make some sort of a foundation, right? Because we've got four pentacles here. So it is foundational. It's stability. Let's make some stability first. Um, I feel like um, if it is, uh, if it's the workplace, it feels like the same thing. We got to go slow. I'm not just going to abandon everything that I'm doing and, and hurt my reputation with the last company just to jump in. And if it is a, a job, you might not even like the person that um, is calling you up and offering you the position. They might be just rude, very direct. Um, somebody who is like, look, you know what? We're a prestigious company. Are you taking it or not? It almost feels like they're trying to talk you into something and you don't trust it. All right. But it is something you've been waiting for. I'm just saying. Whether it's a child, whether it's a relationship, whether it is a business deal, it's something you've been waiting for. I suggest you take it slow. Very slow. The uh, Knight of Wands is in the reverse. I'm going to leave this right here, Taurus. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I appreciate you. I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.